Parking a four-game losing streak is the goal in Michigan, where Panther quarterback Bobby Bear attacks Houston early with a proven weapon that is an accomplished accomplice named Ken Lacey. Hebert's second quarter touchdown to Walter Broughton puts Houston coach Jack Pardee in a 14-point hole and fires up some fresh enthusiasm in Pontiac. Ah, but Houston quarterback Jim Kelly is a hard-nosed thrower with a real soft touch. Ricky Sanders leads the league's number one offense back into the game with two hard-earned touchdowns. With nine catches on the day, Sanders retains his ranking as the number three receiver in the league. Michigan's Jim Stanley counters Houston's run and shoot offense by running John Williams out of the shoot. Williams temporarily sweeps the Houston comeback under the rug with a club record 68-yard run that puts the Panthers up 28-14 in the third quarter. Once voted Wisconsin's most inspirational player, Williams is motivating Michigan these days. But Houston has a jack-of-all-trades in Kelly, who oft-times runs and shoots for the corner by himself, leaving opponents with nothing to fall back on. Late in the game, gambler cornerback David Smilo forces Hebert's hand and puts Houston in prime location for a tie. Kelly draws the crowd, but it's Todd Fowler who draws the assignment, leading to a tie at 28. Houston's second straight sudden death match. Michigan wins a toss, uh, then loses it. Then they get it back. Boy, coin flips can be so confusing. The Panthers then toss the odds to the wind and recover a squib kick to open the overtime. Michigan fails to score, however, and Houston moves into Tony Fritch's range, who tries to put the bite on the Panthers for their fifth straight loss. But Michigan linebacker John Corker lends Fritch a hand and deflects some of the criticism he's been receiving this year. Fritch's failure from 30 yards gives Panther Novo Bijovic the chance to knock Kelly's gamblers out of first place. Novo's 29-yarder gives Michigan a dramatic 31-28 win over the pesky gamblers. At 7-4, the cat attack is soaring once again. 